Okay, welcome guys. Today we're going to talk about other devices for determining how much water a vine uh, actually needs uh, based on the soil moisture. And so what I have here is an Aqua Da Vinci probe. The Aqua Da Vinci, um, it's an AD828 moisture logger and uh, this probe device has a, uh, a probe on the end and then it has preset measurements at 6 inches, 9 inches, 12 inches, 18 inches, 24 inches, 30 inches, and 36 inches. Um, this device costs about uh, $1,800. That's uh, a complete kit with the, the reader, the access tubes, um, a drill bit, a uh, complete kit ready to go. Um, and so you spend a little bit of money, but you get some good, good data about the um, moisture holding capacity of your soil. And you can use it as a tool to determine how, frequent you, how frequently you need the water. And so what we did here is um, these access tubes are three foot access tubes. This, um, this uh, poly structure comes down into the soil in complete contact with the soil. You do that in between your drip emitter and the trunk of the vine. In between the drip emitter and the trunk of the vine, you place these access tubes, and as you can imagine, in a vineyard like this, the soil structure changes throughout the vineyard. This is kind of unique to, to Arizona. A lot of areas that plant uh, vines in farmland, one access tube will tell them what an acre is like. But in this case, I get different readings for all three access tubes, and these are three-foot access tubes. Because of the rockiness of the soil, I drilled holes for uh, half a day to be able to even get one down in two feet. So I have three access tubes in this vineyard. Um, the top one, number one, is closest to the, uh, to the mountains on the upper end of the vineyard. So it goes one on the top, two is in the middle, the third one is down by the end closest towards the college. When I put this access tube in, you use a drill bit to drill down into the soil at the same diameter as this access tube. And then what you do is you collect the soil that comes out of the, the hole. You make it into a slurry paste in water and you pour that back into the hole. You slide the access tube down in there and what that ensures is the access tube is in complete contact with the surrounding soil leading right up to the tube. And so as you insert your meter, you work your way down, you're watching as the first line enters, and so I'm taking a reading at six inch depth. This measures in a percentage, and so right here I have a moisture reading of 80%. And realistically, 80%, without knowing the soil and the past conditions, 80% doesn't tell you anything. You can't use that as a management tool and say 80%, oh I know I have to water, or 80% I know that's soaking wet with water. You have to have some baseline of uh, knowledge about this vineyard site. And each spot is different, like I mentioned. So we have 80%, uh, I'm gonna record that at nine inches. We have 79%, so some good uniformity at the soil surface. 12 inches, 79%. 79% again, and then all the way down to the bottom of the tube. So again, this one is only placed two feet deep, and you can see we had some good accuracy at depth down through the column, and I know, I know why that is, because last week uh, when I took these measurements, it was approaching the 40-50% range in some of these sites down in at depths, and so I determined a watering needed to be done. It hadn't been watered in two to three weeks. And so I did a 24 gallon soaking on each vine. And so with a 24 gallon soaking on each vine, that wet the ento entire um, column. And then if you guys, if you folks remember, uh, just this, today is Sunday, the 15th. Today's Sunday, the 14th of October. And just um, on Thursday and Friday, we had about a half an inch of rainfall at this site. 
And so that plays a factor in soil moisture, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But that's how the Aqua Da Vinci works. The neat thing about it is you can add an SD card. The SD card can record at each depth, and then you can plug that into different kind of spreadsheets. I've made my own spreadsheet that I will share with you guys. And as you continue along in this class and take uh, water management, we'll dive into this. Uh, if you continue with the viticulture class and then uh, take the water management class, we'll look at these things a lot more um, in depth and, and go into it a little bit more. Thank you.